Hi everyone, this is me, Pops with a B207, and I'll be showing you my book collection. Be prepared to watch more than one video because there are two tons as you can see, and it might take a while. Since I'm going to tell you the title and the series, maybe if it's a series, and the not the author. So let's get started. So this is my George and Nicholson Confessions of George and Nic Con Con Confessions of the George and Nicholson series. So here, let's go. They're all by Louise Renison, so I'm not going to keep saying it. This is the first one, and this is Angus Thongs and Full Frontal Snogging. This is the second one. On the Bright Time, I'm Now the Girlfriend of a Sex God. This is the seventh one. Startled by His Furry Shorts. And it's, yeah, number seven. Eight, Love is a Many Trousered Thing. Eight. Stop in the Name of Pans. And number nine. Stop that series. This is my Goosebumps collection series. I only, these are the ones where you can choose your own ending and they're all, you can tell because they're shiny. And they're all by R.L. Stein, so I'll just start. This is, um, number four, The Deadly Experience of Dr. Eek. This, <coughs> sorry, this is number 15, it says, Please Don't Feed the Vampire. This is Escape from the, this is number one, Escape from the Cardigal of Horrors. Um, this is number 17, Little Comic Shop on Horror, of Horrors, Little Shop of Horrors, and there it is. And this is number 3, Trapped in Batwing Hall. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, oh yeah, and that's a good one too. That is my good one. This isn't really a series, but these are more of my history books, so let's get started. This is from the Dear Canada series, and it's called A Desperate Road of Freedom. And I don't know the author. They don't really have authors. They do, but let me see if it's in the front. Carleen Bradford. That's who wrote it. So there's that book. This is a uh, Yellow Star, as you can see, and it's by Jennifer Roy, and it's a poem book. And everyone knows this one. The Diary of a Young Girl is by Anne Frank herself, and it's a very good book. <coughs> and those are my history books. This is my Wimpy Kids series. I don't have very many, but I borrowed some from my cousin, the red one. First one. So these are my two that I have, personally. And Diary of the Wimpy Kid, The Last Straw, and it's by Jeff Kinney. They're both by Jeff Kinney. Diary of the Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules. So those are those two books. This is my Dear Dumb Diary collection, and they're all by... I think it's... Jim Benton? Yeah, Jim Benton, so I'm not going to keep repeating it, but here we go. This is the first one, it is called Let's Pretend This Never Happened. This is the second one, it's called My Pants Are Haunted. Um, this is the third one, and, and it is Am I pr the Princess or the Frog? This is the fourth one, uh, Never Do Anything Ever. This is the fifth one, Can Adults Become Human? And this is the sixth one, the problem with here is it, it the problem with here is that it's where I'm from. And there are more, but that's all I have. So there's that. Oops, and I forgot one Goosebumps book and it's number eleven deep in the jungle of doom. Sorry about that. And it's my These are my Coke or Pepsi collection. There's all there's three, but I only have two. And they are by it says Gill on the side. Um I see in the inside but let's see. Yeah, it doesn't say, but they are like little quizzes books, and I've done quite a bit, and so that's that one. Then I have more Coke or Pepsi, and these are even better. There's more variety, but that is also by Gill, but those are those two. This is my Nazi Drew collection. I think I have more, but I can't really find them. If I do, I'll show you. But this is what I have. They're new, old, and they're also, like, thinner and different. Like, they're, like, 104, number 143. Like, they're different. Anyway. This is my very, this is my first one. The Secret of the Old Clock. And they are all by Carolyn Keane. So, just saying. Um, this is the second one. The Hidden Staircase. This is, um the 41st one and that is the clue of the whistling bagpipes this is the sixth one the secret of redgate farm 
This is Nancy's mysterious letter, and that's number eight. Here, I'll be right back. Um, sorry about that. It's in Nancy Drew, number 143. That's and it is Mystery on Maui. 76, The Eskimo Secret. Um, this is Mystery at the Ski Jump. That's number 29. Oh, whoops, this is Hardy Boys, but this kind of fits. Uh, the Tower Treasure. That is number one. So, yeah. This is the Crooked Bannister, and that's number 48. So that's my Nancy Drew collection and Hardy Boy. This is my Dork Diaries book. <clears throat> it's kind of like the Wimpy Kid, but for girls. And it's by Rachel Renee Russell. That's who it's by. It is Tales from Not So Fabulous Life. So that's that book. Yeah. Now I'm going to do random order from now on. This is my L Little Giant Book of Laughs, and it is by someone. Sterling. So there's that one. Um. Anna Green Gables by L.M. and Montgomery, and this is kind of weird. Why me? Totally embarrassing stories. Um, I got lots of these candy apple books. I'll just show you as I find them. Uh, Laura Dowler, and this is the bo boy next door. This is Mimi McCoy, and it's the accidental cheerleader. These are random. These are both by Paula Dang Ziger. I am Amber. I Amber Brown, and Amber Brown sees red. This is The Dark Pond by Joseph Bruhack. Bruhack or something. This is another candy apple book. Miss Popularity. It's by Francesco Sedata. This is my lip gloss jungle. The Ashleys. <laughs> That's my name. Um, and it's by Melissa De La Cruz. And there's that book. This is, Be this is Ramona Forever. That's what it's called. And it's Beverly Cleary. Um, How I Survived Middle School. And it's Can You Get an F in Lunch? By... Nancy Krulik, I think that's what it says. This is a very good book. It's The Dog Who Wouldn't Be, and it's by Farley Mowat. This is Santa Paws on Christmas Island, and it's by Chris Edwards. This is very good, too. Ginger Pie Eleanor by Eleanor Estes, and an outstanding book because it got an award. This is classic. Stuart Little by E.B. White. This is by... The official Pokemon handbook, and it's uh, it comes with a poster. It's the deluxe collector's edition. So there's that one. I have tons of those. Uh, I have Crazy Canadian Trivia three. I live in Canada, so you know that's all I can tell you. Is I live in Canada. Um, this is by R.L. Stein. There's adult scary. And it's called Get Goodnight Kiss. They're kind of scary. This is also by R.L. Stein, and it's Killer's Kiss. Yeah. This is R.L. Stein. It's a perfect date. She's holding a knife. Um, The Crooked Kind of Perfect, which is by Linda Urban. I'm just going to turn it around. This is Twilight. Everyone knows it's by Stephanie Meyer, and I read it, and it's amazing. I also have New Moon somewhere, but I can't find it. This is Sweet Valley High by Francine Pascal, and it's called Kinnap. This is Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and it's called Dreamboat, and it is by Mel Odom. Um, this is Mary Kane, The Adventures of Mary Kane and Ashley, The Case of the Tattooed Cat. That was an old book that my mom used to read me, and I don't even read it anymore. It's kind of weird. This is the Chicken Soup uh, book for the Pet Lover Soul. It's very sad and very happy. And it's by, you ready for this? Jack Canfield, Mark Victor Hansen, Mary, is that Mary? Marty Becker, DVM, and Carol Klein. They're very, they're written by a lot of people. This is Chicken Soup for the Soul Preteens Talk by Jack Cranville and Mark Victor Hansen. I have not read that at all. <laughs> this I got at Garage Sale. It's called Beanie Baby Guy. Ooh. You check off all the Beanie Bag. It's kind of cool to see all the all of them, so I like that book. This is my Pokemon Sinnoh handbook. And. They're not really by anybody. They're just made, you know, because, yeah. Oh, wait, by Tracy West and Catherine Hall and those Sinnoh Pokemon. I have the Ultimate Pokemon Handbook by Chris Sylvester. 
I have to go and make a new video, okay? Bye.